haven't had an off day in a while, so we've just been, you know, it's an hour and a half of singing and yeah, do you shows, do you do you have days where you just don't talk because you know you have to sing that night and it's going to be too bad otherwise? Oh, no. I nope. mean, I can't do that. I'm not even capable of shutting up. So, no, I can't do that. I mean, some nights I sound, you know, it's a little more raspy and some nights I sound a little more clear. So, but I don't really mind. I like the raspy, so I don't really I do too. I think that's I mean, originally that's what I remember from uh, from American Idol. Watching. Yeah, no, this I is all I have it. to relate to you because we don't hang out as much as I yeah. like. <laughs> um, do you uh, you were talking a minute ago about music and stuff in your label and you were like, yeah, it's it's sort of it seems like it's been a tricky relationship with your label because you, uh, and to your credit, I think, have a very strong picture of what you want out of your career and what you want to give to people as your music. Yeah. Do, uh, and is it? Which really is that picture is just new stuff, not okay. the same old stuff over and over again. So. You want them to feel something they. Yeah, have I mean, I want people like. I mean, I'm a consumer of music, and I don't like buying albums and people just recording the same music just to sell records so right. you know so it's a really big struggle which like my december you really took a is that the album you took a really strong honestly stand on every it? no that the media kind of blew that up that wasn't even the hardest record for me to put out or whatever really? it, my first one was actually the hardest because really? nobody really knew what to do with me and, I mean, <laughs> they're like she's from american idol no and honestly yeah no they didn't and, and in their defense i mean i'm from a talent show like and i didn't really i mean everybody there were people wanting me to do a country record people want me to do a pop record people want me to do r&b because i sing a lot of like blue stuff yeah. so i was like it was just all over the place so would I just you do don't, a like, country record at any time i mean honestly i'd never really i don't think do just one thing i mean even on this record there's a song called cry and it's very much a waltz and like and it's very it, it's very much written like a country song so I think I'm always gonna have the influences of all the music that I like on each record like if you listen to this record all I've wanted there's so many different genres incorporated in that album so I just don't want to make the same thing we noticed the theme of uh, the word gone in a lot of your titles though I know right I don't, <laughs> well, it seems like relationships inspire a lot of your songs or like um, the heartache of a relationship yeah Why? even if I don't write it um, even if I'm picking songs I do like I mean cuz that's like what everybody I think that's a big outlet. Music is a big outlet for relationship yeah. drama or highs, you know, the things that are going well. So um, I don't know. I, I like. I feel like it's one of those things you can't really describe to somebody the relation, the emotion that you have. It's so at the time when you break up, it's so unique to you. But everybody is going through it, and I you know. need something to relate to, and so well, it's music. Yeah, and the cool thing about that is that people come up, and it's it's like you know, it's my the greatest compliment. People come up and say, "Man, I love," because I know that feeling of listening to a song over and over again because. It gets you through whatever situation because I'm the same person, so I, it's like the coolest thing when people say. So you say you're the same person, but what? So what have you gone through? Have you been through this recently, or is this like long-standing no. pain? I'm like I'm like in a drought currently. <laughs> Hello. I'm, no, I'm just working too much. Um, okay. Yeah, and I really love my job, so uh, well sometimes. And uh, do you have any um, celeb crushes? No, I don't think I'd ever date a celebrity. So. Really? Yeah, no, there's enough. Are you are you into like the Texas personalities, or do you have a certain area of the country you've meshed with really well? No, I mean I just like boys, like you know whatever. So I don't I don't really <laughs> like anybody. A, no, I mean I just I like guys that are laid back. Oh. I just don't like I don't like prima donnas or people that take more time in the bathroom than I do. So. Right. Yeah. Which I've dated that guy, so that's not fun. <laughs> Somewhere ladies are all like, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, this is why I love Kelly. This is why everybody's like, mm hmm, and they're gonna call me and they're like, right, Ty, and they're gonna yell at me. This is what happens. <laughs> Girls call me and they get all their boyfriend aggressions out on me, like oh, I'm their boyfriend. Sad. Well, not all guys are bad, they're good guys. Will you do me a favor, real quick? I've decided I have a goal in my life, and I really, yes. I'm gonna make this happen, and I told Craig Ferguson too. I don't know if you'll remember. I love Craig Ferguson, he's funny. He's the best, he's the yeah. smartest guy on TV. He's I, like, really late witty. Yeah. yeah, it's like him and Ellen. They're just geniuses. I love her. Well, I love that she's so funny because she doesn't have to make fun of people to be funny. No, she's, she's just freaking hilarious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see how that works on Idol. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? Thank oh, you. I love it. No. God, you just like handing me like here's oh, how you no, should I just, show up. Oh no, I just you know she's usually never makes fun of people, but I mean in some of those situations it's funny. People are really bad, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how she's gonna. Handle are you sad that Paula's gone? Is that weird for you that you're at a generation where it's changed? I mean, it's, it's been changed? on for like ten seasons, right? Mm -hmm. So I think you know she had fun on it and she's ready to do different things. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, um, what was I just saying? What I'm was sorry. It? Craig, Craig, oh, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. yeah. So I, I want to, uh, I have a feeling David Letterman's going to leave soon. Ferguson's so oh. great that he's going to move up into Dave's slot. Well, Dave's old. Or that's probably not a good way to get a job. Anyway, that's where I'm headed with it. I want to take over the Late Late Show. So I was wondering if maybe, where's the cam, where's the flip cam? It ran out. It died? Okay, oh, we're it died. Over here. back up. Right, it's going to be on Not a good order. omen time. I know. So Francesca, get video of Kelly Clarkson saying this. Okay, to, what to am I say, saying? Uh, <laughs> Craigers. You cheeky monkey. You cheeky monkey. I would love to have Ty Bentley uh, on the Late Late Show. I would love to have Ty Bentley on the Late Late Show. As the love host. It. 
as the host, not just like appearing. Yeah, constantly. Uh, and <laughs> and then say it's cool because even though he doesn't have a Scottish accent. It's cool because even though he doesn't have a Scottish accent, Any action, action. I'm, yeah. I'm like Sean Connery, yeah, really, but whatever. <laughs> uh, even though he doesn't have a Scottish accent. And he's shorter than you. And he's shorter than you. <laughs> uh, people that are hard of hearing and have poor depth perception. People that are hard of hearing and have poor depth perception. Will never notice. This is not forced at all. <laughs> it will never notice. <laughs> I, these are all words from my mouth. Thank you, Kelly Clarkson. Thank you. All right, go have a performance. I'm sorry, it takes a lot. No, you're good. Have fun, y'all. Yeah,